Hey, it's Nathan Crane, creator of the Search for Sustainability documentary series. And I'm incredibly excited and honored to be sharing this series with you at no cost. You know, I also feel super blessed that my wife and my daughter and I were able to travel the country and spend time interviewing and questioning many top visionaries and leading educators, environmentalists, school teachers, passionate green business owners, politicians, and permaculturists and farmers and just amazing people asking them these hard questions about, you know, how do we overcome these major challenges that we're faced right now as a nation and as a collective humanity. You know, it's very apparent for those of us who are following what's going on in the world that most of the systems we're used to are collapsing right before us. The financial systems, the education systems, the healthcare systems, the political systems, all of these major systems, the food and water systems that we depend on are collapsing and falling apart. And the reason being is they're unsustainable. So what this series focuses on is not only what's going on, but more importantly, the solutions. How can I as an individual, we as a family, and we as a collective, a community, local community and a global community, actually create real change with real solutions right now that's going to leave a legacy for the future generations who follow us. So this series and doing these interviews because I was exposed to all of this information has completely changed my life. And now I hope that it inspires you as it has done for me and for my family. And so today I'm happy to share with you a, an excerpt, a, a portion of one of our episodes. So there's 12 full episodes. In each episode, we dive deeply into a new facet of sustainability. And each episode is anywhere from about 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes. So we cover a lot of material in that period of time. And in episode seven, we talk about sustainable music, art, and media. And what does that look like? And why is it important? And how does that affect our lives and our community? And so today I'm going to show you um, a few clips out of episode seven, as well as a live performance of uh, what I would consider sustainable conscious music being performed by Sons of the Earth that we filmed in Sedona, Arizona. So I hope this gives you a taste of what's to come in the full series. If you're not registered yet, make sure you register for free at the link below this video or by going to the search for sustainability.com. And I hope this inspires you and gives you hope and some understanding as to what is possible for this next level of human engagement on the planet. So thank you and enjoy these short clips from episode seven. What we do 
we create the idea and the medium for what is environmental hip hop. We basically have shown the style, you know what I'm saying? Like when it's talking about the lifestyle of what eco hip hop is, we b-boy, we cook, we raise our children, we use food as medicine, and we have this conversation on an environmental level, you know what I'm saying, with our friends and our family. We're talking about how we can redefine the image of wealth in young people, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about how we can transform our communities. And um, you know, that medium that he was speaking about, hip hop, it is really universal language. We're just speaking about higher inner peace, helping other people, health inside people, health outside people. Intelligent And movement. so everybody likes to eat, as my husband always says, and what better way to, to bring up the conversation of mm. caring more for the planet, um, creating a sustainable future by starting with food. Everybody always has, you know, you see all the movies, The Godfather. They're all sitting down over food, you know, important decisions made, um, hearts opening up over, and we, we keep the frequency high with the food. And so, you know, with the hip hop, it's just, it's just how we live. And then we, we embrace those <laughs> with the broken hearts. You know what I'm saying? Open them up. One of my greatest passions is um, collecting songs from all over the world and old songs um, that kind of link back to a time when we were more connected to the earth, um, living closer to the land, and you know, living more in a village kind of setting. We've been using the word prayer formants just to like again shift the paradigm of look at us, we're performing into into that this is a prayer. What we're all doing is a prayer, and that the word prayer doesn't have to be associated with dogma. It's prayer can be a way of life, just as ritual. Everyone's in a ritual, so uh, we've been playing with that word a bit to, because we. For me, like what I like to do, so that I'm not, you know, making it about me when I'm sharing, is to let the words that we've brought through be a prayer. So when I'm saying let go, or if I'm saying this is for the ancestors, I'm actually sending that out into the universe when I'm doing it. I'm not saying it for the people to see me. I'm saying it so that it echoes to the creation. And that when we're doing that, that's like, wow, like we all start praying together and we're all saying this is for the ancestors, this is for the next seven generations. We're creating a vibrational ripple in that unified field out to the planet. Or we're amplifying each other's intentions and words and you know energy. Thank you for everybody for just showing up at this amazing time on earth. You know, we're honored to be with you. Can you hear it? Can you can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you can you hear it? It whispers to your soul. It whispers to your spirit. Can you hear it? Can you can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you can you hear it? It whispers to your soul. It whispers to your spirit. Talk from ancient skies by your burning sounds and cracks and pops the heat on my skin. Earth is growing all across her back, uniting men. Water flowing, blood of life, rejuvenate our gardens. Seeds are sowing, people waking, saying yes to life. Life is calling, life is calling, life is calling us. Life is calling us, family. Harmony, harmony, harmony. I listen to the air. I listen to the fire. I listen to the earth. I listen to the water. I listen to the air. I listen to the fire. I listen to the earth. I listen to the water. Can you hear it? Can you, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you, can you hear it? It whispers to your soul. It whispers to your spirit. 
Can you hear it? Can you, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you, can you hear it? It whispers to your soul. It whispers to your spirit. Hey, love. Hey, love. Feel free to close your eyes and just get in your own zone and dance. Air is blowing, breathe it in. Energetic medicine carries seeds from land to land. Gather round, feel the ground. Feeling proud to be alive. Fire rising towards the sky. Send your prayers out, watch them lift. On the back of angels' wings, in the circle singing, earth my body, water my blood, calling for this harmony with all our hearts. Call for that harmony with us. Woo! Harmony, harmony, harmony. I listen to the air. I listen to the fire. I listen to the earth. I listen to the water, I listen to the air, I listen to the fire, I listen to the earth, I listen to the water. Can you hear it? Can you, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you, can you hear it? It's calling to your soul, it's calling to your spirit. Can you hear it? Can you, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you, can you hear it? It's calling to your soul. It's calling to your spirit.
peace of our mother and the vision of our father and all those on the rise into the rising sun magnificence is